So when you sell a product to a customer, sometimes that product is only part of the solution that they want. So the idea here is to think not of your core product, but the whole offer. So definition of a whole offer in my view is very simple. The whole offer is everything that a mainstream customer needs in order to be able to achieve full satisfaction and their outcomes. Take a simple example. You buy a television set, you bring it home. That's the core product. I sold you a television set. But wait a minute, I'm not done. What do I do with the television set when I bring it home? Life has become so complicated now because I need to connect the television set to my receiver. I need to wire the speakers. I need to connect that to my source, which may be cable or satellite. And then I need to program the remote control to make all of it work together. So life has become so complicated that you pretty much need to hire a Accenture to come in and do all the system integration in your house. So the whole offer here would be, for instance, a company like Best Buy saying, we will take care of this whole thing for you. We will sell you the television, we will install it, we will program your remote control, we will integrate your systems, and by the way, we will even advise you on what cable company, whether you should do business with Comcast or you should do business with AT&T, what is the right plan to be on. So kind of becoming my trusted advisor or my concierge for consumer electronics. So this is sort of you know an example of what the whole offer that I'm looking for. So you find this in every business and, um, and, and, and every circumstance. So if you are, for instance, looking at the even a simple thing like airline travel. So what is the whole offer in the context of the airline travel? Well, the fact is that when I go for a business meeting from here to New York, I'm not going from O'Hare to LaGuardia, which is where the flight goes. So the way the, the airline will define their core offer is, I provide you with the aircraft and the transportation from point A to point B. But I'm actually going from my house to my meeting. So the whole offer here would consist of a service that picked me up from my house, took my bags, checked me in, got me to the other side, transported me to the meeting. This was exactly what Virgin did for its upper class passengers, that they send a limo at either end, they take care of your baggage and the immigration and the, all of the hassle that you have to go through. So the idea of the whole offer is to think about what does the customer need to do end to end to be able to achieve the full satisfaction, full outcomes. And if you're able to provide that whole offer, as opposed to just providing a product and let customers figure out the rest, you can get a powerful competitive advantage. And I think this is being borne out, for instance, in the automobile industry where electric cars have been promised for 20 or 25 years, and many companies have tried, and they're still struggling. Nissan is struggling with its Leaf car, and Chevy is having some trouble with its Volt hybrid. But the one company that seems to have broken through is Tesla. Why? Because Tesla, again, I think is a company that is truly thinking about the whole offer. What does the whole offer consist in the case of electric cars? Well, I need a place to charge my car. I need a convenient solution for batteries. I need to think about service. I need to have showrooms and dealerships that reflect the kind of customer experience that I want. So Tesla is really thinking about this whole ecosystem very intelligently, in my opinion, including the supercharging stations that they're creating, the GPS that shows you where the charging stations are, providing the charging infrastructure to you for condo buildings or for your home. And really thinking about, in fact, battery exchange stations where you can go in and swap your battery in and out. So, so really, to me, an electric car that I can't charge, don't know where to repair, and don't know where to buy is not a whole offer. And that's what Tesla really understands. So I think whether you're in the world of technology or whether you're in the world of financial services or in the world of B2B industrial products, really ask yourself, what is the total package that my customers need product, supporting products, software, content, service, delivery, warranties, installation, maintenance. That's really the definition of the whole offer. And if you are able to craft a whole offer that's compelling, it's very difficult to compete against you because now your offer consists of a really combination of many products and services that can be bundled in a very unique way. So really you should think about being in the business not of selling products or services, but of providing whole offers.
that create a compelling total customer experience.